But Audrey Hale, that sort of bucked the trend. That was uh, just in March, March 27th. She killed uh, six people at the Covenant School in Nashville. Uh, we now have the forensics on Audrey. Uh, I will remind you, uh, it's very sensitive because Audrey was in transition. So she, uh, Audrey was trans, but was holding her, uh, her, her, themselves out as um, female at home and then um, male sometimes in public. So it's, the pron pronouns are sticky for me. I do try. I don't want to coddle a killer, but I do respect that there are trans people out there who wouldn't appreciate me using the wrong pronoun. So help me out if I screw up. Uh, so here's what was in Audrey's system. Okay, uh, the forensics and the toxicology came out and uh, they tested for 16 substances. Uh, they tested for meth, opiates, marijuana, ethanol, all negative. Nothing in Audrey's system. This was not somebody freaking out, tripping and spraying a school. It had nothing to do with drugs. So then the autopsy, when they finally did actually uh, riddle Audrey with bullets, here's what the police in order to neutralize that murderer. Uh, torso, shot in the arm, the left arm, the head, the right thigh, the right shoulder, also grazed. Uh, thank God, thank God the police were able to do it. Take, take that shooter down before that shooter could take anyone else down. And then as for the manifesto, yeah, we still don't know. We still don't know what was in it. I sure would like to know. As a journalist, I'd love to know as a human, I think you would like to know what would drive somebody if there was none of that stuff in their system. Why? What's in the manifesto? What was in the drawings? Parents shared it with the victims' families, but not with us. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.